Hey, family, como estas? Bienvenidos. It's your girl back with another video. And as you can tell from the title, I have done this. This is the third installment. This is a series of the best of the best. So I do have two other videos. So I highly recommend you guys checking it out because number one, it is a bonus. If you have commented on all three videos, yes, because they're going to come out back to back. You're going to have chances to win. And I'm giving away products in each and every one of these best of the best it's just an appreciation i have not done i don't think i've done hardly any giveaways um i may have done a few but not enough to remember i used to do them all the time but you to this year has just been so crazy but i wanted to give back to you guys before the end of the year these giveaways are going to end december 31st i'm going to pick a winner january 1st so we're going to have three winners one in each video definitely check out each and every video i hope you guys enjoy it and let's get into the video okay so let's start with the goody goody because i got all my stuff in here okay the goody goody are the palettes y'all want to know what are my favorite palettes okay y'all let's start with the obvious one okay this is the most recent palette that I have acquired into my collection. I have not stopped putting this palette down. You guys keep asking me for videos, okay? You asked for a sultry look, which you guys helped me out with that. I did a three minute every day. I'm going to link these all in the iCards so you guys can check it out including the review the full review and swatches that I did over here and also I did a that I did an every day I did a like my uh, I didn't I haven't done my go-to look but you guys asked for oh a no makeup makeup that's what I did and y'all just went in i mean you guys loved those videos but let me show you guys this eye candy in case you didn't know now let me say something about uh, this video okay i love the fact oh i can bend it now y'all okay so this mirror is insane i don't want to blind you guys but the mirror okay the mirror let's just i'll do it like that i mean you're gonna see some of it y'all see my light lighting and my camera and stuff but um yes this mirror is no joke i love that she has four textures in here and she has six shades this is amazing i feel like it's genius some people are conflicted about this palette but i honestly feel like that this is is nothing are the shades are the shades anything different now i'm gonna tell y'all this sequin row is something that you haven't seen i i saw people making comments about this is color you know this is color pop this is morphe honey this ain't neither one of those jokers okay and i'm not saying it like jokers i like color pop i like morphe shadows i like some of their shadows but honestly y'all this is nothing the sequin shadows are nothing like i've seen okay these glitters these the the way that it comes off on the eye nothing like i've seen um the mattes are very very smooth in terms of shades um that you've seen um this is very very different to me the mattes i've seen those but i feel like the way it looks on the eye is what really is eye catching so uh, i could keep talking about this but you can go look at the review girl check check it out for yourself I feel like it's worth the investment. It's worth the money. It's $48. I really do believe that is an amazing price point for an awesome mirror. I'm just saying. And awesome product. I really enjoy it. I feel like she did an amazing job. Congrats, Tati. The next product is something that people have been saying for a while is good. And this is the Natasha Denona Sunrise Palette. Now, because of this palette and love that I have for this palette, I did pick up the Metropolis. I am going to be doing some videos in, in 2020. I have not touched that palette yet, you guys, because I've just been reaching for the Tati. I've been reaching for these palettes that I'm talking about, and um, I've just been getting some love uh, to these. This is the Sunrise palette. This is the $65 one. Now, she does have the $125 that I finally did invest in. But I feel like go for something that's smaller and then see if that's something for you. I feel like that this is a... Uh, honestly, this is... It came out in the summer. But I feel like that this is a year-round palette. I feel like it has some great neutrals in here. has some pots of color for the summer. But also some of these colors, like the berries, you can use throughout the year. I don't know what I put my finger in 
but uh, my finger is stained now. Um, I don't know. But these are amazing. The mattes are very, very smooth. These, um, like, shimmers and metallics are really, really good. I feel like that this is definitely worth the money. If you don't, if you want to play in color, but you want to do safe play, this is what I feel like you should go for. Really enjoy that. Y'all, Jackie did the thing. I'm just saying. I know for women of color, this is a great palette. But overall, honestly, this is an amazing palette. Now, it doesn't look like I've been touching it, y'all. But this is an amazing palette. I have been using it. And um, the looks that I have used with this, y'all have been at, uh, Girl, when you gonna come with a tutorial? Y'all know I don't do tutorials on my channel. But y'all have been breaking out and be like, girl. So I've been doing a few. I've just been tiptoeing in it. But this... I actually have a lot of these brushes. That's the reason why I kept it intact in here. But I use my own brushes. But I do like her brushes when I travel. So I kept it in there. But I really do think that this is a really great palette. Again, I feel like that out of all the palettes, there are two palettes that I really, really, really love and could not part from from Anastasia. And it is the Jackie Eyder palette and the Makeup by Mario y'all remember that palette mm -hmm. this palette and that palette favorite palettes i feel like the textures the colors are just so so good and i really really enjoy this jackie did an amazing job i feel like even like this a uh, jacket girl jacket 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 okay i'm just saying let's move on to my favorite this is my favorite actually bronzer and I would call this a face palette because it's doing two things. Um, this is from Minted Cosmetics. This is a collaboration with Ashley Blaine Featherston. I feel like that they did an amazing job on this. You get a lot of product. Um, I do have a review on this. I did. This is season one. They have season two. I also have their lip glosses um, right here, which are really, really good. I really do like their lip glosses, but these shades are so good. They are holiday appropriate. I feel like that they're, they're like year round and I'm a lip gloss girl. I love these. I feel like that this is an amazing shade. I, I think I've even saw Jackie Ina using this. So just think my skin tone and the Jackie skin tone so that shows you the variety of range that it does bring but I really do enjoy this I feel like it's worth it first product this is the milk hydro grip primer amazing it's probably one of my favorite ones if I could say if if I could only choose one it would be a tie between the hangover rx and the hydro grip primer I feel like that this does prolong the lasting power of your makeup though i really do enjoy it i feel like once i finish this will i get the large one once i get through like i i don't know i like this size though i don't know do you guys like smaller sizes of the products i don't know if i would get the larger one i don't know because i try so many products this is probably just the perfect amount i know i don't know where this cap from i don't think that this is the cap that it came from i think it was a clear one but it goes on it so yes so let's see aluminizing I either like smoothing long lasting hydrating and glowy type of primers this is the glotion this is a natural glow enhancer this is in medium 903 medium glow I really enjoy it I did a review with the uh, L'Oreal launch of new products that they had but I really do enjoy this it's so pretty and um I want to say it's like a champagne rose gold almost look so this is a really really pretty on the skin and it has a pleasant scent but I really like the glow that it gives you can mix it in with your moisturizer a tenant moisturizer or even your foundation and if you needed a quick fix of a glow this is going to give it to you i really enjoy it so um really enjoyed that let's move on to concealers i have a color corrector and a concealer this is the nyx hd photogenic now i've tried this formulation before but this shade is perfect for color correcting i feel like it is really really good it's has a nice staying power and it looks very bright under the skin 
uh, under the skin, under the concealer, under the makeup. It's going to brighten you up. It's CW03. Now, originally, my skin tone is CW06. That's usually the one that I go through. Um, two or zero five usually I do six but if I go three shades this is more on the pinky side so it's it's a, like a pinky peach which is what I want to do to use utilize to discolor to cancel out the discoloration of my dark circles I really enjoy this I feel like it's worth the money and um, I definitely think that they don't have color correctors in this form at least what I have I haven't seen but this is considered a studio concealer corrector as well so I guess they're dual purpose but I really like enjoy that the next one is the infallible full wear concealer I have it in cashew 365 I really enjoy this it reminds me of shark tart shark shark baby shark I hate that <laughs> saw they had Santa shark you guys anyway um this infallible full wear concealer is really good i feel like that this reminds me of tarte shape tape so much without the dryness under the eye i feel like it's full coverage i really like it infallible full wear i feel like this is a really great concealer from the drugstore you need to try some more concealers though but i really like that one um so far let's talk about powders let's talk about the ones i use under my eye graftopian um I didn't know that I was going to like this, but this is the banana cr cream pie. I had this probably last year from the makeup show and did not pull it out. But y'all, I tell you, Sasha Buttercup. This is level up from Sasha Buttercup. And that was a really good under eye powder. But this is so finely milled and it brightens. It's like, it's like, ooh. I have not tried the Fenty. A lot of people talk about that one, but this one is bright enough for me. Sometimes yellow is too, it's not a bright yellow and I need a brightening yellow. So I really like this and it's a Lux, Lux Cashmere HD setting powder. So I could use this all over the face too if I wanted to. Um, I might do that, but it's really good under the eye. Really good for baking too because I feel like it's, it's, it has some hydration to it. If I was going to go to the drugstore, the Fit Me by Maybelline, the loose finishing powder. This is in light medium. I've had this too and just started using it and I really like it. It's a very silky type of powder. And uh, before I used to like, I still like using pressed powder and going in and patting in. That's when I'm traveling. Um, I do like using it here too, but um, when I'm at home, I do tend to gravitate more towards my loose powders. I really, really do enjoy it. I feel like this is worth it. If you're my skin tone, um, light medium is what you would probably want to use on your eyes. I would not use this on my face because it does have kind of like a neutral, it's too light. It's just too light to use all over the face. And it's not trans, I feel like it's not translucent. It does have a tinge of color to it. It's not like the Graftopian, which this one is a setting powder. So it, it does, um, it really doesn't have a color to it to me. So yes, let's move on to another powder. This one has been one of my favorite. I definitely have to get it in my shade for all over my face, but I've been using this under my eyes. And this is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Compact Dual Use Powder Compact. I really, really like this. So it's a dual use. It does have a sponge in here, but I did not need that. I love setting my under eye and I will take this and if a foundation is a little bit too dark or a little bit too orange, it balances out. This is in six. I want to say the color went off, came off of it, but I think this is in 6.5. I really do enjoy this, but I have to use number nine for my shade um, all, all over my face, but I really do enjoy this. And I've been getting, I've been using that a lot, a lot. <sighs> Minted foundation sticks. This is my favorite foundation stick. I compared this to the Vanish stick. I definitely think that this is worth the money. I have it in L40. I have it in T40 and L20. These are so good. I highly recommend. And even if you, um, I would say that this is to me, this is just on in my on my preference combination to very dry would really like these i have not seen any reviews of girls that are 
oily and I'm not saying just for minted um, you might want to try the minted for oil, your oily skin. I'm just noticing that a lot of oily girls or girls that are oily don't tend to gravitate towards foundation sticks. That's just a general like observation that I've made. But maybe you want to try them out if you're oily. But I feel like for a normal combination, dry, very dry, I highly recommend these. These are so, so good and... Uh, they're just good i need to pull these out and put them in rotation again but i really really loved those this this year three more foundations i know foundations is something that i really like trying throughout the year this is the infallible fresh wear 24 hour if i only had one foundation from the drugstore to get i would use this this is so amazing. Now, I have not tried every single foundation from the drugstore, but the ones that I have tried, this is long lasting. It looks beautiful on the skin. I actually like this better than the Pro Glow because Pro Glow, they don't have like an actual match for me. I feel like that this is a perfect match. This is my, um, I, I do need to go because I tanned and, um, I feel like I need to go a shade up, but they have a lot of shades of this. I feel like Pro Glow is still kind of limited. This one does have a larger range. I want to say they have like 30 to 35 shades of this. Um, so I'm really excited to, to get another one. But I really like this foundation. I feel like from the drugstore, it's one of the best, if not the best. I feel like it's the best. Um, I really like that. And the Pro Matte sometimes can be too dry. This is a year-round like formulation for me it's the fit fresh wear which is what i really like to look i like like to look fresh and natural i like my makeup to look nice even not only behind the camera when you guys see me but in person i go out places okay and i don't like heavy makeup um so there you go in terms of a one that i really love during the summer like this was like sweat proof like humidity proof the dior backstage i'm in the shade 4n i've noticed that i tend to when people color match me and when i try other color match they say i'm neutral and i would say that i'm more on the neutral side um i pull or more olive tone and that's probably why the neutral but anyway this is in 4n i really really enjoy this now my jam my jam the amazingness of this mixed with nor sheer glow or a luminous foundation the dior star which i still have when i mix these together it is magic it is so so good and i love it this one y'all i pulled out yesterday and i was like girl you look bomb my skin looks so good and there's a new way that i use this this is the pat mcgrath skin fetish sublime perfection foundation i am in the shade m um medium 17 really enjoy this this is so good um i used my hands with this yesterday and one of you guys told me girl use it like pat said and i don't know why i did not try it with my hands i used the sponge and on camera i do have a review of this but y'all if you have not tried this using your hands put some in your hands use it like you were going to do a face lotion put it on your face and check out the skin i'm just saying is perfection let's move on to cheek colors blushes y'all i don't have any powder blushes to talk about this year i've been using creams i have a high-end and i have a color pop i would consider that drugstore this is the milk makeup lip and cheek i love it because i can use it on my lips and my cheek this is in the shade work and y'all it's almost to the point where where it originally is when you know when you buy it it's dome shape and so it's starting to get flat so that means i am using it i love this this is my mauve shade cream but this one is more more is more this is the blush stick by ColourPop. i really enjoy this this is like if taj mahal was a i feel like a blush that a, a blush stick that's how it would look so it has like gold flecks in it. It's very, very beautiful. And the lasting power on these are pretty good. I did use it yesterday with a brush and put it on. I feel like it stays better than using my hands. If you use a brush, try using your blushes 
that are sticks with a brush rather than your hand and just patting it in it'll stay longer and um, maybe set it with a translucent powder I'm just saying because blush is usually the first thing to go so really enjoy those in terms of mascaras I have two to talk about the Il Maquillage I really like for my lower lashes I use this on my top lashes and I'm like mm, it's to be desired but lower lashes it's bomb I got this in a Ipsy Glam Back Plus before I went Ultimate and I skipped this month so I'm just saying um, it's just I have so much makeup and I feel like I can skip December okay I'll start back in the new year I'm gonna make a decision if I'm gonna keep it but I'm probably am I've been with Ipsy since 2012 you guys I'm just saying um, and I really like their curation of their bags. This is my holy grail. This is going to go in the holy grail vault. This is the Thrive Cosmetics, which now Ulta has acquired Thrive Cosmetics. I'm so excited because I want this mascara. This is the Liquid Lash Extensions. Y'all, this is amazing. This is the best mascara that I've ever tried. I know that's saying a lot. And I love mascara. I love mascara. Okay. I love mascara. This one makes me look like I have on fake lashes. I love this so much. Um, and it doesn't clump. This is the best part about this. Okay. When you use. This is a tubing mascara. Meaning that you can just put on some warm water. And it comes right off. Mascara is one of the hardest makeup items on my face that it comes off eyeliner and mascara I feel like are the hardest and it's because it's around the eyes delicate you get it but this is such a, a wonderful formulation and it's easy to take off I'm just saying so that's the reason why I have lip products I'll, I have one lip balm this one is from origins this is in Night Bloom. This is one of their lip balms. Um, very, very, it reminds me of a Clinique lip balm that I used to really, really like. I think Black Honey or something like that back in the day. This one is called Night Bloom and it's just a tinted balm. It's so beautiful. It's very moisturizing. This is from the Pigments of Flowers, I believe. And it's a nice scent. Origins did an amazing job with this lip balm and I actually prefer this over the fresh lip balms. I just really like it. Um, it's very nice. If you put it with a lip liner, it will look amazing. Y'all, okay, so before I get into the last product, Lip Maestro by Giorgio Armani in 202 is my favorite. If I had to pick one color from Giorgio Armani, 202 it's amazing I feel like it's the perfect nude like the perfect nude like if I don't know what I'm gonna wear I have a smoky eye I have like a basic eye or whatever and I want to like really just like my lips to look really really nice I'm gonna put this on it's really nice very nice nice neutral that's not too mauve it's not too pink it's not too peach it's like the perfect nude for me my skin tone at least let's talk about persona Okay, their lip glosses and their liquid lipstick in Phoenix. Now, this is new. I have it on today with a mix of OG. These are like my favorite reds. I don't wear red lipstick. I'm wearing it for the holidays. I know you guys love options for holiday parties, hence the reason why I'm wearing it. But on a daily, I do not pick out red. Just, and I'm just going to be honest. I don't. But these would make me pull it out. I love the formulation. I don't wear it, like I said, on the daily. I'm more of a nude girl. You know, everybody got a preference. But if you need a pop of color, I'm just saying, this is an amazing formulation. It is very comfortable on the lips. It smells amazing, like vanilla. The scent goes away, but the Phoenix is more of an orangey red. And this Holy Grail is a perfect, perfect it's like a blue base. If you want to see the difference in between the two, uh, Phoenix came out during the summer and I, OG came out last year, but I just want to show you the difference. But this is such a beautiful shade. Okay, so Phoenix is to the right, to your left, 
Phoenix is to your left and OG is to your right. So I really do enjoy both of these formulations. Again, I have a mix of both of them on my lips today. And in terms of lip glosses, they did come out with some lip glosses. I love Coral and I also love Toffee. These are some of my favorite lip glosses of like of life. Okay. Um, they are very moisturizing. I believe they have avocado oil and shea butter in them. I want to say that they do and uh, but they're very very moisturizing they have a nice juiciness to the gloss and I feel like that these are definitely glosses worth the money and they're not I want to say they're they're not high-end amounts and um, I just feel like persona just get lip products really really well so you guys let's move on to the giveaway so I said I was going to pull something out of this bag. I did have something in mind. There was the original launch of this product. But then I remember I was in Macy's and they did a second launch because everybody loved this product so much that Anastasia, oh, Anastasia, which is one of my favorite eyeshadow palette formulations, brought this back out. And it is. And I did go to a Macy's. So this is not a bootleg. I know. People have been talking about counterfeit makeup. This is the real deal, y'all, because I went into a Macy's, purchased it with my own money, and it is the Master Palette by Mario. What? What? This is such a great, y'all, I got mine. I was like, you know what? Self, I'm going to give this. This is hasn't been opened. This is such a great palette. Now, I know some of you guys, I know it. this was a while back, so some of you guys that are going to have an issue, nah, 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 you know, if you don't want it. Some people like collector's items like this. Some people are like, girl, I don't care. It's limited edition. I, this is not from eBay. This is not from Poshmark. Yes, um, this was not ever used, okay? So I just want to tell you that. If you have an issue with that, I do have another palette that I can send you guys. This is another one of my favorite palettes, and it is the Tardius Pro palette. This is such an amazing palette as well. These are both in my makeup collections. I'm not parting with either one of my own personal. But I felt like that um, I had, this was one that went off the shelves so quickly this is the original this is not the kim kardashian this is the anastasia one okay i i bought it from the first launch and then when i saw the second launch i, I loved it so much i bought a backup but i've never used the backup i'm almost hitting pan on my original and some of the shades but y'all this is the bomb if you're not cool with it being you know it's never been open but if you like hey y'all yeah, I don't want that. Um, I do have the Tardius Pro. So I'm going to let you choose which one. I'm just saying, tis the season to be giving. It's okay. If you don't want this, I'll keep this in my stash, sis. I don't care because this is such an amazing palette. I would keep it as a backup. But this is the Tardius Pro. Both of these are unopened. These are new. So comment down below. Let me know what your favorite makeup item is of all time of our time whether you use it this year net last year your og let me know what's your favorite makeup now i know that's a hard one but just pick one that you can't live without okay i know that's a hard question okay so thanks so much for hanging out with me this year i have some great things in store for next year thanks so much you guys thanks so much thanks so much that's all i can say i love you guys and i will see you in the next video or even maybe 2020 happy holidays you guys and have a merry christmas Bye.